The rent is really cheap here. Oh, it's up and coming. Mm. I get my fruit and vegetables from the grocery down the road. It's so cheap there. They don't speak any English though, but it's really cheap. <gasps> All of the dangerous people have moved away, mostly. It's not really my fault that only white people live here. There's a really cool vintage shop down the road. Um, they do really cheap Nike high tops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm opening an art gallery. It's just an independent art gallery. Um, the first exhibition is going to be where we take famous uh, dictators, um, mainly fascist dictators, and we take their images and we turn them into stuffed animals, thus subverting their authoritarian uh, personalities. Dude, we're punks. We live at Punk House. Uh, how can we be gentrifying anything? I don't feel that safe around here sometimes. Just saying. We are not gentrifying this neighborhood. Our house has a broken window. It needs a paint job. Uh, I'm actually not a gentrifier. I'm not white. Oh, this used to be a barber shop, this cafe. So we kept all the cute little chairs and like all the mirrors. Um, and we kept those like posters of all the different haircuts of all the people that we don't know, but they look really cool. Uh, people love them when they come into the cafe. Yeah, it adds, it adds something to the place, don't you think? We make artisan cupcakes. We make artisan toast. This used to be an ethnic grocery, uh, but we got rid of all the smelly food and um, it's a lot better now. Um, we do offer $400 tofu making courses though, if you wanna sign up. We make artisan eggs. We make artisan socks. We make artisan clocks. This neighborhood needs a really good micro brewery. You know what I mean? Can I sign you up for a cheese making course? I'm opening a collectibles artisan kind of knickknack store um, from things that I bought uh, while I was traveling through like North Africa, Latin America, um, Southeast Asia. They were really cheap when I got them. Oh, I speak all the local languages. Um, hola, como estas? Uh, salam. Namaste. Um, come on. <laughs> Kubi. You know, uh, Dobre Dien. Spasiba. Uh, all of them. Mmm, I got these from a great Jamaican bakery just down the road. Mmm, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're taking poppy and locking classes? Cool. And anyway, I was telling her all about my holiday in Peru. She loved it. It's a great little chat. Is that a real altar? Where did you get that? Uh, this is a vegan muffin and vegan donut store. You have the muffin for your main course, it's a savory muffin, and then you have your donut for dessert, it's a sweet donut. And uh, all the ingredients are locally sourced from local farms, of course, organic, yes. And the decor, as you can see, is Native American meets Janelle Monet. Love Janelle Monet, what a treat! We're trying to bring more locals into our food co-op. I don't get why the locals don't come into my organic bakery. You know one thing though, I wish the church across the road would be a bit more quiet. I think I'm gonna call the cops. Why is that lovely little Ethiopian restaurant closing? Oh, oh I go to the place that only makes the single origin coffee. 
It's pretty good. They're starting a community center down the road for refugees. Um, who's running it? Oh, white people. Of course. <laughs> It's not actually our fault that only white people come here. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not a gentrifier. I, I'm an activist. Mm. Um, I signed a petition last week on uh, change.org, I think it was, uh, to, uh, to abolish daylight savings. Okay, I'm just walking out my door. <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? God. People around here are so rude. I was having band practice last night and it was like only 11 o'clock, like whatever. You know what this neighborhood really needs is a doggy daycare. My little pooch needs some lovin'. How can I be a gentrifier? I'm poor, I've got like no money. Um, I haven't worked in, yeah, a while. What's the point though? I mean, I don't feel like getting a job. People around here really need to chill out. It's cool. Um, they're going to build mixed income housing down the road. And they're going to, uh, I think they're going to put a liquor store in front of it. They're, that's part of the building plans. Um, it's going to be great. Thank God they painted over those ugly murals. Oh, they were hideous. They're remodeling the local station. They're widening the streets in the neighborhood. It's going to take about two years. We called the police. The music uh, was just too much. It was really loud and disruptive. Oh, the strip malls that they're building. Look, I'm telling you, you should totally buy a house here. Um, they're super cheap and the price is only just going to go up. Yeah, with uh, some blueberry glazing and um, sage, cinnamon, kind of basil, flour, you know, hand milled by uh, donkeys. <laughs> 